Hello everybody. I'd like to show you a little bit about the website that we're going to use this week to learn about microbit. We are on Microsoft's Make Code website and we're going to be learning a little bit about microbits. If we could be in the classroom together right now, you would each have a microbit, um, these small mini computers um, that we could code on our Chromebooks and then um, download that program to our microbit and be able to play games and see messages and that kinds of things. And we can't be together, but we can use what's called a simulator. A simulator is a way to practice something or try something without doing the real thing. So if you were going to learn to fly a plane, you would probably use a simulator to practice before you actually get into an airplane, of course, for safety reasons. So we're going to use a simulator to simulate how we would code a micro bit. When you get into this website, you're going to see a few different things. You're probably not going to see anything under projects, and that's okay. As you create projects, just like I've been working on some different things, they will save in here. The one thing with Chromebooks is that when you completely log out of your computer, this will clear, okay? So just, just be mindful of that, that if you start a project and then you completely shut down your computer or log out of it, that you need to log back in with a password, this will be cleared. Luckily, the projects that we're doing for our assignment this week are very simple and you're going to be able to complete them um, some of them in a matter of minutes one might take you a little bit longer but you're going to have a tutorial that's going to tell you exactly what to do and this should be a relatively simple um, set of projects this week okay the other thing that you have are those tutorials so this week we're going to be working on a few different things we're going to start with the easiest project, which is making that micro bit flash a heart shape. We're going to be telling the micro bit how to show your name. And we're also going to be coding our micro bit to play the game rock, paper, scissors. So those are three things that we're going to try. Of course, when you finish those three, if you want to try anything else, you are absolutely welcome to. Um, try that after you get our three um, projects done this week okay so when you're in make code you're going to see a screen like this um, we're going to see on the left side our simulator of the micro bit okay so it has two buttons it has an a button it has a b button it also has a series of led lights and these LEDs will light up based on how you program it to, to look like. So this is where we would see our shape of a heart, or this is where we would see our name scroll across. In the middle are your blocks. And these blocks are housed in drawers. And those drawers are categorized by what kind of block they are. So in our basic drawer, I can click on that to open up and I can see some basic blocks that I will probably need for almost any um, program. I've also got some other things, input, music, um, variables, which is one of our vocab terms this week. Uh, so is loops. And so um, the cool thing about the tutorials is it only gives you the blocks you need. So right now I'm in an open project, so I can see a lot more blocks than I need. When you do the tutorial, it's only going to give you exactly what you need. And so that's going to simplify it for you um, and make it a little bit easier. We also have our workspace, which is where we'll build our code. And we are set up in block mode. The really cool thing about this is if you are a little bit more advanced or you prefer text coding, you could switch into JavaScript. I would say for these projects, please do block. That's what I'm looking for when I... Um, look at your work, and then if you um, want to challenge yourself later and switch to JavaScript, you absolutely can. Once you make your project, it's pretty cool. You can just test it um, by clicking over here. So let's say that I want to say when a button 
is pressed, that it should show a <laughs> this little duck. Okay, when I press A, it should show a duck. And when I press B, let's have it show hello. Okay. And so you're going to see this blink over here. And I'm going to click the A button to test this out. So when I press A, I'm going to see a duck. Cool. And it will continue showing that until you tell it something else. So now I'm going to click B. And when you put words in, it's going to scroll across. And it's now scrolling across to say hello. Again, we are going to be using the tutorials. And so um, I'll go back home. I'm just going to name this fun. Sure. OK. Um, and you'll be using the tutorial. So again, you'll start here, right where it says new, start here at the flashing heart. You'll start that tutorial. And you're going to see that it tells you this is what we're going to do. OK. And it's going to show you exactly what you need to do to make this happen. So you've got which blocks you need. You've got a tiny little animation of what you need. You have your simulator. And it's only giving you the basic blocks that you need. So they really, really simplified this so that we can start slow and really get those basics and then be able to do more advanced projects. I know you guys can handle this. I'm super excited to see what you can make. Um, I wish we could see the micro bits in person, but until then, we can practice on our simulator until it's safe. Thank you.